and also on my computer. Okay, so just talking, um, someone asked me about uh, uh, parallel, parallel universes and the Akashic uh, records and sort of my, my views on that. Um, well, you know, just from being a, a Hawkins student, um, what was quite interesting for me to uh, hear with Hawkins, uh, I mean, he did uh, muscle testing, spiritual research through kinesiology or through muscle testing. Uh, and uh, you're able to uh, uh, glean a lot of information uh, um, through using muscle testing. Now, what he said was with um, a lot of people get these kind of alien, uh, I know I'm sort of going around on different points, but just thought it would be interesting just to um, share on this. He talked about, I think it was, um, uh, you know, one of the people, I think it was John or someone who did, was it Revelations from the Bible? No, I'm not a, a Bible historian, but anyway, it was um, this thing of like Judgment Day and uh, the world coming to an end. And he said that that was just a, you know, lots of people sort of go into, um, into the astral realms and have these dreams, which are very close to, you know, it's like, uh, it's like this world, uh, but it's like a different tape of this world playing in a, um, in a, uh, in an, uh, I forgot what I was saying, in, in, in the, um, in the astral realms, that's it, in the astral realms. So in the astral realms, they have worlds similar to ours, but where it's all ending in doom and gloom. It's like, you know, there's judgment day, there's hellfire, uh, there's lots of judgment. And, and, and lots of people throughout history have gone into, uh, in, into these astral realms. Uh, astral realms mean, you know, they go, they go out of body and they visit these astral realms, which are playing different, if you like, different movies similar to the one here where it's all sort of like, you know, you can go into the hellish astral realms and it feels like it's real. You're in these astral realms and it's like, oh my God, you know, the volcanoes are going, it's, it's, and, they, and, they, and they come back and they feel like they've had a prophetic uh, prophecy for what's going to happen in this world. So uh, lots of people do have these and they feel so real that they were having these real transmissions, but they're just like visits to the astral realms and sometimes to the hellish astral realms and they come back and say, look, in 10 years time, it's going to be judgment day and it's going to be all kinds of things. So this, you know, a lot of people tend to go to these similar um, astral realms and come back with these very, you know, these visceral experiences. Uh, can't remember what Hawkins said on parallel universes. He did say, he did do a muscle testing. Um, are there other planets in the universe which have uh, life similar to humans? And it, the answer was yes. So with, you know, I guess multitudes and infinite, you know, galaxies and worlds, of course there is other life that exists uh, in other places. Um, and um, what else? Uh, there was uh, in terms of, oh yeah, the Kashic records. Um, now the thing with, um, uh, you know, causality isn't real. So if you go into the observer, uh, if you practice the observer exercise, the observer uh, is going into, if you like, the realm of spirit, which is before the realm, if you like, of manifested form. So in, not in this the material world, you know, of time, body, location, distance. But if you go into the uh, spirit realm, it's like the world of the manifest comes out of the spiritual dimension. So that's why there is no causality. Like in the world, uh, one billiard ball is not causing another billiard ball to move. That all happens at the, level, at the spiritual dimension. So there is no such thing as causality. So the Akashic records or that, or which would be one's karma or one's, if you like, ego, uh, is uh, holding that information, that limited data um, within the spiritual realm, and it manifests within the uh, physical realm. Um, so lifetime after lifetime, one incarnates with a package of stuff to try and grow through and transcend uh, for spiritual growth. So I just thought I would share some of those things. I mean, a lot of um, I think what can also happen is a lot of spiritual seekers can go into the occult, into spiritual circles, 
and get um, and go into various astral realms or have various entities uh, communicate with them and uh, you know and, and can be uh, waylaid off the uh, spiritual path so um, Hawkins gave the advice to just keep to the, the main spiritual teachings and you know you might lose a lot of time going into spiritual exploration but yeah I do I haven't really since um, since being exposed to Hawkins teachings I haven't really explored all the, the different theories uh, that people are sort of going in there. But I thought it was a great, uh, interesting question. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to 